Let it begin. The feeling is definitely there. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it. Let's say hi now to Catherine Webb, who's joining us exclusively. Catherine, good morning. Nice to see you. Hey, good morning, Matt. How are you? I'm doing fine. We spoke on the phone yesterday, and you, you confided in me that you really hadn't slept in about 48 hours between getting down there for the championship game, watching the game, celebrating afterward, and then this kind of explosion of attention around you. Have you gotten a little rest now? Ah, uh, Yes, I got at least four hours last night. We uh, spent about maybe 10 or 11 hours traveling back from Miami back home to Alabama, so I got a little bit of sleep, so... Catherine, were you a... Look, buddy, I don't want no house today. I don't like this one. Not one. Where at all, as you were sitting in the stands there watching the tide roll to their consecutive or second consecutive national title, what was being said about you? Was anyone texting you? Did you get any emails during the game? Um, no, my phone actually died before I entered into the stadium. And so I was so disappointed because I didn't have my phone. I wasn't able to tweet or to take pictures. And Hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. The world needs a wake-up call. So, during the game, a few of my friends that were sitting beside me kind of, like, turned around and just, like, oh my gosh, Catherine, look what's on the internet. And it, it was a screenshot of me. Just take it easy. You stumbled onto something here. Maybe we could all benefit from the slight misunderstanding. This one, real fucking up. So I had absolutely no idea, and I didn't find out until halfway through. Now, now that you've heard what was said about you by Brent Musburger and, and the others on the air... You see, I take these glasses off. She looks like a regular person, doesn't she, huh? Put them back on from Maldehyde thing. You know, you look like you had a fellow that cheesed it back in 1957. How do you feel about it? I know you said you don't take offense to it, but they did go on and on about your appearance and how young guys in Alabama should toss the football around so they get to date a girl like you. With a little hindsight, how do you feel about the comments? You know, I think, I think the media has been really unfair to him. I think that if he would have said something of along the line of uh, that I, we were hot or sexy, any woman wouldn't be flattered by that. So I think that they've been a little bit unfair to him. And so I don't so no reason for ESPN to apologize, in your opinion? You know, I don't think it was needed, honestly. Uh, I mean, of course, I appreciate it, but at the same time, I don't think that I needed an apology. I, I mentioned Twitter has exploded. You went from 2,300 followers to over 200,000 in 24 hours. At one point, the Twitter folks tell us you were getting about 1,000 followers per minute. And I know this sounds a little like a pageant question for the reigning Miss Alabama USA, but what do you plan to do with this newfound fame and celebrity? It can be a double-edged sword. Um, you know, I'm honestly really shocked that it really took off like that. And, you know, I think that we need to draw back our attention to who the real winners are. And that's... I've got one that can see.
That's like pouring perfume on a pig. You know, the Alabama football team, they spent so long getting ready for the season, and they won their second back-to-back -back national championship, and that's such an accomplishment. And, you know, I'm flattered at all the attention, and, you know, I'm humbled, but at the same time, I think we need to kind of draw back our focus to who the real winners are. And uh, but at the same time, you know, I'll... I'll do whatever I can to... <laughs> How long have they been there? Boss. What are they? Where did they come from? Well, they ain't from Cleveland. Look, man, I don't need that kind of shit. What are we gonna do? We're gonna wait. Wait? Wait for what? You know, that really answers my fucking question. Well, when you get some kind of master plan, you let me know, huh? help the team out and um, and support AJ and, and do all that. So, well, in, in, um, and enjoy so yeah. the couple of minutes. You know, at least enjoy the popularity. It's fun and, and, and hopefully it is all flattering. And by the way, yes, say congratulations to AJ from all of us. I will. I'll be sure to tell him. <laughs> all right, Catherine. Nice talking to you. Thanks very much. Don't wear them glasses too long. Starts to feel like a knife turning in your skull. Brother, life's a bitch.